In this video, we're going to learn how to implement Android bottom navigation activity. So I'll start by creating my new Android project. And then I'll select bottom navigation activity. We can as well create our own from scratch. But I'll begin by using this one because it has good practices that are implemented by what? By Android Studio suggestion. So I'll select bottom navigation activity. And then click next. And then I'll give my application a name. I can call it my application 3 and then uh, I'll keep the language as Java and uh, the API I'll leave it there at 4.0.3 but I can change any if I want but for now I'll leave it there because it supports it then after I'll click on finish our project has been created now the main part is to explain how everything is related to each other but before I explain, let me first run the project so that you can see what you're going to have and then I'll explain after I've seen what you're going to have. So I click on run and then the project will start compiling. So we'll get something like this. It's an activity, a single activity where we have uh, our action bar and then uh, we have our main workplace center and then we have the bottom navigation down here. So we can navigate from here to here to here and you can see when I change to from one fragment to another it does not refresh the whole page but rather it switches from one page to another from one fragment to another and another fragment and another fragment yeah so we're going to discuss and see how all these others I mean everything how is related and how we can implement them in real life applications so we come back to our code let us begin by looking at our files so if we come to uh, Android manifest we we'll see we have only single activity so it's, it doesn't matter that uh, we are having different layouts no these are just fragments and fragments are not activities so we are just displaying the different fragments at the moment but the activity is just one and this one can help us to make our application be fluent as well as uh, not heavy and faster than application with different activities for example you see Instagram they just switch along fragments they don't have different activities when you're switching through the tabs of instagram so let us see how they are related to each other so we have seen that uh, in uh, android manifest we have only one activity so let us come to what to our java ui i mean our java code so i'll expand here and you can see we have only a single activity and then we have some other ui that we're going to look at later uh, so let us go to our java code and then we start uh, explaining line by line so this is our java code so the java code it starts with on create of course you already know how it does then after it uh, starts the what the uh, layout it implement i mean it sets the layout for our activities so if i press control and click i'll be able to go up to the layout directly or you can navigate through that layout so you can see that layout if I go back to the code, it's, it's just a fragment and then a bottom navigation and uh, the action bar. So if I click on the code, I'll be able to see what this layout is made of. Uh -huh. First of all, let us see where it is located and what's the name. The name is just activity layout and this is just a single activity layout. There are not many layouts for different activities, just one activity layout. And if you come to layout, we can see it is just activity layout. But there are some other layouts that we're going to look at, which are fragments, such as home fragment, dashboard fragment, and notifications fragment. But uh, let us first look at uh, this layout. So this layout is having some padding top of uh, action bar size. And then uh, it has two elements inside here. The first element is the bottom navigation. You can see here is bottom navigation. And this is what we see here. It's not just because it is on top. No, I can as well put it down because construct layout, it doesn't matter which one comes first. But uh, you can see this is the bottom navigation. When I click on it, you can see here it's activated. So this is the bottom navigation element and it is uh, having a width of 100%. But uh, what it is taking here, it is having some background. So it means that it is always transparent. So we give it background to make it ha have that light that will not uh, be interfered with the things in the background. 
so it is having the most important part here the most important part here you should have an id which is nav id i mean navigation view you can change it to any other id and then we have the menu that's the most most important part or they have the menu that is going to implement because this down here it's not going to be nothing but a what but a menu and we've already looked at the menu if you didn't look at the view what is meant by menu layout you can do what you can go to a previous video and see what is meant by a menu so if i click control and click on this menu i'll be taken to the menu of course it can, i can as well find it here if i come to the menu side and then i click on this menu i'll be able to do what to see the menu here and this menu is just uh is having an id of navigation home and we have navigation dashboard and we have what uh, id of what of uh, navigation notification so if you want to add another element for example i want to add uh, about us tab i can as well add it here and it will do what it will appear in a navigation menu so this is the menu that will appear in the what in the navigation so i can close it and we come back so that the menu and then uh, it must be there okay it must be there otherwise if it is not there then this navigation bottom menu will have no sense that it will make okay we come to the second item there are two items that are here in the activity the first one is the menu this one will help us to control the what to control what should appear in this uh, main fragment space the second one is the navigation i mean the fragment or the fragment area where our content will be appearing okay the fragment area where our content will be appearing so this fragment area it is padding on i mean having some um, what this one having padding top and it pushed this fragment area on bottom and then you can see this uh, fragment area is on top you see what makes this one to be on top is this attribute i can as well cu cut it and put it on top here no problem but uh, what makes it to be on top is what is this attribute of on top of and then we reference this id i mean this id so it will always be on top of this one no matter where it is located if you were with us when we looked at a uh, constraint layout you will understand what i'm talking about so it will always be on top of this id or of, of a navigation bottom view of this which has this id so it match parent all these others they don't matter uh, but what matters it should have an id which is navigation host a uh, fragment so this is the fragment where we shall be populating different fragments that uh, will be wanting to preview at the moment and that's the first thing that it should have an id and another thing it should have uh it should have a what uh a navigation graph okay a navigation graph or what we call navigation so this navigation graph is uh is a file or it's a, a layout that will help us to relate different uh, navigation fragments that should appear in this workplace area remember these shall be switching off through different fragments but we don't see them here okay so this is going to be like a, a player so when you click then it will display something when you click it displays display something uh -huh. so those things we locate them inside the navigation graph so if you come to navigation graph you'll see it is at navigation and then we have uh, mobile navigation here it can be anything this is just the name of a file so if we come here to navigation and then you see here we shall have that mobile navigation i can do as well click on control and then click on it we'll be able to do what to see that mobile navigation i want to make it a uh, center i don't know why it's like this okay so you can see this is the mobile navigation okay this is the mobile navigation this one here mobile navigation and where do you use it we use it inside our fragment that will be displaying different fragments so if i switch to back to mobile navigation uh we will have uh, the navigation home the dashboard and what a navigation notification but this is nothing but a what but a file which is under the navigation if i click on uh, the, the, the the what the split i'll see the what the source code the source code is just a navigation tab after navigation tab we have the fragments and these are the fragments that we shall be switching through we shall be switching with 
and the first fragment we can see it is having the id of navigation home the same id that we are having in our element in our in our menu of this when we want to display this okay and it's having a label of what of home so the label that we want to, here we can change to any label that we want but here we just keep it as what as home and then uh, it is having also a layout that it is referencing from then we have another navigation here the dashboard and then we have another navigation for the notification so if you want to add another navigation maybe another navigation so you have to copy this and then duplicate it and then you change the information or you can create as well another fragment so this frag this navigation will help us to switch through different fragments okay it is just a file so you can create another one you can create as many as possible if you want to i hope you get the concept uh but the main point here also that uh, each navigation is referencing now its own layout its separate layout it's separate layout and this one's also separate layout if i press for example this uh, layout for fragment home if i press control and click on it you'll see it is now where we're doing the what the logic i mean displaying the home content if i click here on split you'll see it is here in fact you see fragment home this one is done that we are previewing so this is where we shall put all our home content in case we want to display anything maybe i can change even this one to what to linear layout and then i start displaying all my content there you see this is the text that was there and it is the one that has been switched it is the one that is being switched i can even add uh, my own text view okay so i can put with uh with much parent hate wrap content and i can put here my own text and say this is my own text data so if i want to do anything any design anything that i want to add in this navigation i can add it here let me change its size and make it maybe 50 dp so i'll come and change the orientation here of this orientation vertical so that it should come next to that so make it 30 so you can see that's our data so if you want to put anything data on the home fragment i'll just come and put it here so all the data that want to design anything that want to put in the home fragment i can put it here i've got you i hope you get the concept so that's the form for, for home fragment then you have also for notification fragment it is here we have also uh the fragment dashboard and you have here this is the main main activity that we're having so you see when i put in home and then the data that i have in home this is the default uh the, the default what navigation item and uh, then we'll see here the data that was coming from home fragment has been populated here has been populated here so that's how we uh organize or we we prepare the what the navigation item content so that is for the front end and uh, it's a little bit complicated but if you practice with it you'll find that it is very very simple so if i want to get another one i just change this i add one more ele element in the menu and i add one more fragment here and i add one more fragment here in this navigation and i, I, I once i do that then i'll be able to what to have another uh, fragment if i want to change anything in this home navigation i can as well change it from there so that is for the front end now let us look at the back end so the back end First of all, we shall not put the whole business here in the what in the main. We shall not put all the back end business inside the what inside the main navigation. So we begin by creating a what a bottom navigation view. As you can see, I've created a bottom navigation view, and it is having, uh, it is it is find it it is getting this bottom navigation view that we we had here inside the what inside uh, the main menu. See this nav bottom navigation, this one so we link it we link it with this object that we're having here okay this the one that we used to control we link it with the bottom navigation object that we have here so that's the first thing that we create after doing that what else remember it is the one that has it even the what the menu so what else we create we create the what the configuration so up bar configuration 
and this upper configuration takes a uh, three different i mean it takes a uh, different element that we want to appear in a what that we want to control in our navigation for example have the home navigation and the id for the for the dashboard and then you have the id for the what for the notification if you press control and enter you'll see have the id in the menu as well as the id in the what in the mobile navigation menu so that's how they are linked if i press control here you see i have the i for example if i press control here you see i have two ids the id in the menu which is the id that we in case we click here it should show and if i again press control we shall see the id for the fragment that you want it to do what to control so if i press uh if it means that if i click on uh, and press control here control and click if i click on this i mean sorry if i click let me go to that of menu if i click on that of menu here since it's having the same id it will bring for us this uh navigation uh i mean to, to link it will be linked to this navigation uh fragment controller and then this navigation fragment controller will do what will display the fragment layout of the notification so i'll go back to our main activity so that's what it takes this is like the what the controller then we do what then we build it okay so after building it then we come to navigation uh controller itself where it is coming uh, where it is uh the main place where the content will be displayed okay so we begin with the bottom navigation which is for this bottom one and then we come to the what to the controller or the place where this navigation be displayed and that one is just pretty simple you just put navigation controller and then you do what you relate it uh with the uh, i mean you relate it with the layout that with the idea of a layout that uh, you want to do what to be displaying uh the content okay as you can see this is the layout so we have these two main key things the bottom navigation and the what and the layout itself so after having those two uh made up then it means that uh in case i want to create more i can as well create more by just adding more items so the last thing but not the least you have to know do what to set now the controller uh this controller will take the context okay we'll take the context which is this and then we'll take the navigation uh controller which is the this one as well as the bottom controller uh, which is this uh up bar bottom controller for the navigation bar so after doing that then we shall have set the what the controller then uh, we implement the controller by doing set with the controller then it we pass two things we pass the this nav view this one as well as uh this second one that we're using to display the content so we pass here the two things we, we pass the bottom navigation itself that the that how i explained to you which is taking the menu that i have already explained and then uh, also the control itself so by doing these ones then the navigation will be able to do what to be displayed on our screen so but this is just for the display now what if you want to do some business some logic behind this so you'll have to do what to create a separate business logic that uh, in case someone clicks on a certain specific navigation it's where we'll do the what that specific business for example the business for the i mean the, the back end business for for home and the back end business for dashboard and the back end business for for notification you have to separate them uh, separately so this is how we do it so you can see here we have the model and the what and the fragment itself this model is just uh, we use it just to keep the data nothing big you can even work without it but the most part is the what is the fragment because these are just different fragments so every fragment should have its own back end okay Be just like activities now also the fragment they should have their own back end so as you can see here we have uh, if i expand this ui i have the what the dashboard fragment for example which is exponing the fragment dashboard so all the logic that i want to put inside the fragment dashboard i want uh, i have to put it inside here so you see dashboard fragment it is expanding that one and uh, here the most important part is it will on create 
uh, we have to do what to inflate the layout okay to inflate the layout which is the fragment dashboard that we saw before and is taking the what the container and this container will be passed to us and then we see if we can attach it to the root or not by passing true or false so the remaining business will be implemented here okay the remaining business will be implemented here for example you can see here we are finding the view text inside the dashboard which is this one this okay and then this text we do what we set it to the string of the name of uh, the element that we are previewing at this moment so this is where we do we, we could set it so if you want to do anything that will be regarded to this notification navigation bar we have to put it inside here inside the fragment uh of the of the dashboard fragment so again lastly if you want to do what to create another element for another uh, navigation then again you have to do what to create here another uh ui for a fragment that will be inflating or that will be displaying that navigation so if i run the application again and then i'm going to show what we're going to do to see that it that uh we can implement this navigation bottom i mean bottom navigation so the application is installing and there is application as you can see things that i put in the home fragment i can be able to see them here i think that i put them in the dashboard fragment they're here ah. so i want us to create here a button a button in the home fragment or anywhere just okay in the home fragment so that if i click on that button it should show us it should show us a toast okay so i'll just simply okay let us put in the home in the navigation fragment so i'll just come to ui and then navigation fragment and then i i do what i first create the button itself okay i will first first create the button itself i can change this one to okay i can just come and uh, use drag and drop here put here a button and then give it a what constraint okay i just click there and then the button has been given quite constraints okay can put it here no problem okay so that's our button i want uh, this button when i click on it you should do it should show a toast okay so i want to show you where i can implement the what the business so this button is having an id button so and it is in the what in the dashboard navigation so i'll click there and then uh, we have to create the button here so i'll create the button here on top okay i'll give it a name button then after I have to connect it now to connect it here we shall come to what to on create okay we shall come to on create i'm already on create in fact let me put it outside so we shall come to on create and then we come here after defining the route remember this route is the one that will be responsible for specific navigation that we're previewing at that moment so i'll just link it by saying is equal to now here we don't just say find id by id no we have to pass through the route because it's the route that is having full control over the navigation that we are previewing at the moment so i just put root dot uh, find uh, view by id and then i put r dot id dot uh, button okay so by doing that i'll have uh, linked with it okay so the main point here we have to pass through the route now let me create a toast when someone click there so i just add that set on click listener new on click listener and then i say toast okay and then you have to put the context now this is not an activity so you cannot just pass this this will not work here okay but you have to rather to put the context i can get the context of the application here by just putting get context then to be able to get the what the content application uh -huh. so i can say you i can say hey you clicked on a button so here with so swell can do what we can put the logic of different navigations uh -huh. so likewise here if i want to put the logic i'll have put it inside the home here 
you find put the logic of the uh, notification i have put it here so i have another element other element that won't add this navigation maybe it should be like four navigations or five i can add them just like they have shown you to add in different what in different elements such as i have to add in the menu i have to create for it a file we have to add it in the navigation itself so after doing that i'll have to run and we see what's going to be our output so the application has started but remember our button we put in the what in the dashboard so I click on dashboard, then our button is there. So let us click. You can see the toast. Hey, you click on what on button. I click, you see the toast, you click on what? You click on button. So that's a brief introduction to what? To navigation at bottom navigation of Android uh, programming. I hope you've understood and I hope you can be able to play with it in different ways. And uh, thank you for watching the video. In case you have not liked the video, Please make sure that you like and share with friends as well as subscribing to my YouTube channel if you haven't. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching.